Hi, it's John here from GPS Training. What we're doing in this short video is answer a question we get asked a lot here is, what map option is best for your Garmin GPS unit when navigating in the UK? As you must be know, there's three map sets really of most Garmin GPS units. What's called the Topo Active Mapping, which comes preloaded on many of the GPS units. There's one to 50,000 Ordnance Survey Mapping, which is the land range, the pink version of the map. And then there's a one to 25 version, which is the Explorer, which if you've got a paper map, is the orange copy of those map. Now, one thing to be aware of is you can plan on 1 to 25k mapping on whichever um, whichever map you've got on your GPS unit. So if you go to the GPS training free route planning software, you can plan on the 1 to 25k mapping, and then it would overlay on whatever mapping that you have on your GPS unit. So if you plan on our free route planning software, if you had just the top active mapping on it, you could overlay it on the top active mapping, or it would overlay on the 1 to 50,000, you had the 1 to 50,000 uh, maps. Now, for the majority of the time, if you do this, that's actually adequate, each of those map sets, because the majority of the time, you're just going to be following arrow on the screen. I don't get in people's cars and go, buy your maps are far better quality on your sat nav than they are on mine. I just look and think, I'm gonna turn left in 3.6 miles if I was in my car for that example. And exactly the same with an outdoor GPS unit, when you plan on our free route planning software, it overlays it on the map. And the majority of the time, you're just looking at the direction you're going walking. And for the map, for me, it's just an image in the background. But where the Ordnance Survey map does come into its own is if you need to change route on the hoof. So if you come across a, a something that's blocked, a, 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 a path that's blocked, and you need to go, uh, move, uh, get out of the route that you've been planning, maybe plan a diversion, that's when the map quality does come into its own. So in the UK, in England and Wales at least, we really need something that shows us rights of way and that's either going to be the 1 to 50,000 mapping or the 1 to 25,000 mapping. But remember, we're only using this really 4 or 5% of the time, 95% of the time. If we plan our route, we're going to be following an arrow on that screen. So to answer the question is, you can get away with 1 to 50,000 mapping if you're going to plan on something like our free route planning software. But is a 1 to 25k mapping better of course it is, but it's significantly more expensive. What's the benefits of 125k mapping? It shows you the open access areas if you're planning on the hoof. It shows you permissive paths. It shows you field boundaries. Field boundaries are less important because if you think about it, you're going to move across the map. You're either on the path or off the path. If you're not on the path, walk 10 yards to your right and now you're on the path. So it's very different than a paper map where I need to know I've got the field boundary on my right hand side or I'm heading towards the corner of the field. So that's less important. But open access areas might be useful. Permissive footpaths may also be useful. But then you may have the other side of the debate is if you get lost or you need to plan something on the hoof, does it really matter where you go anyway? Yeah, if you bump into a farm and he's not very happy, well, at least you found someone as you're getting yourself off the hill and there's a, a potential problem. So I would say if you're in the UK, you really need an ordnance survey map card. Once 50,000 mapping is okay, that's great, and that's completely adequate. If you can afford it, the 125K mapping is better. But don't forget, if you've got the 1 to 50K mapping on your GPS unit, plan on our free route planning software on the GPS training website, and then you get the best of both worlds. You can plan on 125K mapping, overlay it on the 1 to 50K mapping, and if you do get yourself into problems when you're out on the hill, you're gonna be planning on that 1 to 50K map. I very much hope this helps. If you have any further questions about this map, about mapping options on a Garmin GPS unit or about having a Garmin GPS unit, please just get in touch with ourselves at GPS Training.